on this show, you need to listen to everything yeah. we say here. Because unlike all the other shows out there, what we say on the cannons matters. matters. Pat, Steve, and VTV. Oh, yeah. It is a glorious Monday, and I got a sense it's going to be a very special Monday indeed. But guys, haven't seen each other since uh, Friday when we got back from a tremendous time in Las Vegas. Had a lot of fun in Vegas. Had a good time coming back. I got to spend some quality time with Vic on the plane. Tremendous. And uh, we sat in front of you. You talked the entire way home. Well, I was being asked uh, questions by inquisitive and, minds. And uh, gave this poor young lady your entire, <laughs> your entire history. Right. And then began reading commercials to her. And yes, I wanted to show her everything. Well, I wanted to give her a little well, perspective on what it's like to be in this business. You understand? I'm talking about new hair. You're I talking know. about uh, <laughs> UCLA. I mean, it was the entire gamut of Steve Hartman's uh, life. Well, I, I made up for the flight out to Vegas because there, I didn't say a single word while you no. gabbed the entire time. So <laughs> I had to make up for the flight over. I don't gab. I listen to my headphones. By the way, are you ready for this week? It's going to be a beautiful day today, but they're saying like Wednesday we're going to have rain. Someone said they're going to have some rain. I so can't what? believe that, but that's okay. We could use some rain. So I plan on some uh, African violence Your over the weekend. Are so I need, uh, I need some rain. So uh, we'll get those ready for them. Blossom those Af African violence. They'll be wa yeah, they'll the be farmers. Wacky. Now, guys, uh, the farmers I see that uh, our esteemed boss Don Martin has entered our studio right now with what I understand is a major announcement. Don, is that true? It's a big one. Well, I mean, let's start maybe the biggest of the, the century. Secret in LA in the last <laughs> week and a half here. Yeah. Yes, but it is now official. That AM570 Fox Sports Los Angeles has changed its name to Dodgers Radio, AM570 Fox Sports LA. Yeah! yeah. 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 Thanks to Tommy, Michael Young, Ned Coletti, Eric, I mean, the, the list goes on and on. Greg Ashlock, of course, here at Clear Channel. Uh, I am very, very, very proud and excited to say that, yes, we are the new home now of the Los Angeles Dodgers. For how long, Tommy? Uh, forever. Forever. Right? Oh, Tommy yeah. is in the house yeah. as well. Yeah. The Hall of Famer is here. We believe in marriage, but we do not believe in divorce. And I love that. So we'll be with you for the rest of your life. You had 61 years with your wife so far. That's right. I'm looking forward to the next 61 with you. And it's a great uh, reuniting of Tommy and me. Yes. Since we traveled many, many miles many together. Times, many times. And uh, we got in a little fight this morning, but that's all right. Well, he questions your stature these days. Now, what about that? You, I, mean, what, I mean, what about it? It's well, first I'm of all, he said he was going to come over here and whip me. I said, man, <laughs> you better bring your lunch. Well, all Tommy, day, all Tommy's day tough, affair. man. Obviously, we're very proud here at AM570 Fox Sports day. Los Angeles to be the home of the Los Angeles Dodgers and Tommy. Your family with us anyway, so this is where you belong. Well, I've been on the station many, many times with you guys and uh, what's his name? <laughs> The football player. Who? Oh, Petros. Petros. Petros of money. Nice. Sure, yes. I've been on him so many times. I think he's great. Yes. Really yeah, Petros is good. Yes, very, very good. You may, you may not, but I <laughs> <laughs> Petros of money are fantastic. Yeah, there you go, right there. <laughs> well, no, you're right. I'm just reading your face. No, no. <laughs> Times of the body language. <laughs> I, I read faces. You read faces? No, I was just looking at the five years trying to get the fix. <laughs> You keep reading. Yeah, I was showing this uh, poster. It's up in our studios here, and you you look and I said that's the Vic. You're, you're like, yeah, I know it's Vic, but I I still don't know what I'm looking at there. I mean, it's it's the crazy Vic the Brick. Tommy, as we move forward in this marriage, uh, what's our honeymoon going to be like? What the, what are the Dodgers going to look like? Well, we're going to make every effort, and I think when you, when you listen to the general manager, uh, to paraphrase the words of the late and great General Douglas MacArthur, who once said, "Do it." We shall return. Mm -hmm. And I say that about the Dodgers. We shall return. And you know, Tommy, the Dodgers did return down the stretch. You know, I, I had to say I, I was one of those maybe a big, big question mark over Don Mattingly. No longer. What he was able to do to keep this team together down early and actually finish the season with a winning record as hot as any team in the National League over the last six weeks of the season, I think we have ourselves a heck of a manager in Don Mattingly. Well, you know, uh, I knew Mattingly. I spoke in, a, in, in his hometown at the college there. And uh, that's where I first met him personally. And uh, watching him play with the Yankees. Sure. I've admired him so much as a player. Now I've admired him so much as a manager. I, I often tell him how much I appreciate his patience. 
you know, with, with, with me, I'd be screaming, I'd be hollering all over the place, and I'd have meetings where you could hear me down at Long Beach. <laughs> but he's a different type of an individual. Yeah. I mean, he's quiet, but he he's patient, and the players and the players really think a lot of him, and that's the most important part. If those players, they like you, it makes it a lot easier for them. How do you get the fans back, Tommy? How do we get them back? Yeah. We're just going to give them a good ball club. Right. They love winners here. They That's probably right. really never left, right? I mean... No, uh, they've just, just gone out, but we're going to gather them okay. back. We're going to bring them back, I guarantee you. The love is strong. The love is so strong for well, the Dodgers. Well, the game's greatest ambassador, Tommy Lasorda, is here along with Dodger General Manager Nick Coletti and Charlie Steiner in the house Come as well. Guys, it is a celebration here at AM570, Fox Sports Los Angeles. We are now the home of the Dodgers. And let's face it, guys, this is where you belonged all the time, right? This is where you belong. Well, last time I saw Ned, yes, he brought me the first Dodger dog of last year's season. <laughs> and the last time I saw Charlie, we were sitting next to each other at a Prince concert. <laughs> I mean, this Hold is, on uh, a second. Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, you know? It's wild. Well, first of all, Charlie, it's good to see you here. And, uh, Prince, is that the first baseman for Milwaukee? Yes, yeah. it is. <laughs> the Prince Fielder concert. We don't it's a touchy situation. It's a free agent, of course, to be. And, of course, the great Ned Coletti in the house. Amazing GM for the Dodgers, done an amazing job well, under, under the circumstances. I mean, Ned, again, congratulations for putting together a team that at the end of the year I was playing some of the best baseball in the major leagues. Well, thank you. The guys played, the last couple of months they played hard, and they um, they gave full effort all the time, and, and Donnie and the staff good credit along the term with, with the guys who did it. But we've got a lot to look forward to. No doubt about that, Ned. I mean, there was a lot of young players that came up, and that's what you're looking for. The future of the team, D. Gordon, some of these kids really show that they belong at this level. They did it for really half a season. They didn't just do it as a September call-up. They did it the second half of the year, and when you look at our schedule in the second half, we were like 17 over, but Milwaukee was part of that. Philadelphia was part of that. St. Louis was part of that. The Giants were part of that. Arizona was part of that. It wasn't like we were just playing teams that were out of it. We played, we played the best in the league and held our own for two and a half months. So Charlie, you, Rick, Vin, we're all ready to go uh, right here, the game's here, uh, and uh, what an exciting season. I think based on what we saw at the end of the year, you gotta be excited about the upcoming year. You know, from the seventh day of July on, uh, the Dodgers were about 17 games over 500, and they did it primarily with kids. And we watched them grow before our very eyes, whether it was a D. Gordon, uh, Jerry Sands at the end it was not the Jerry Sands that we <laughs> saw at the beginning. Right. But I thought in watching this team grow, it was the young arms out of the bullpen that were especially intriguing. Uh, whether it was a Javi Garrett, Kenley Jansen striking out 16 batters for every nine innings. That ain't right. Yeah. Uh, and Josh Lindblom was, was very solid. Uh, Scott Elbert finally grew up. And so you've got four good young arms out of the bullpen, uh, something on which to build. Uh, and, and, and the other thing about it, and, and Tommy alluded to it, uh, even when they, the team was not playing, uh, they played hard every day. They left it out on the table. There, there was not a dog on that team this year. I mean, they, they played hard uh, nine innings every day, and, and that's all you can ask for. And then finally, about uh, the first week of July, things began to turn around. It became a very interesting club. Now, you can understand there was some trepidation about Don Mattingly, never been a major league manager, great player, obviously, and what he could do. Well, when do you think he really got it? Because obviously this team responded, certainly at the end, to Don Mattingly. Well, I think a, a crossroads to evaluate it is there's a certain point in the season when a team with expectation knows that it's going to have a tough time winning. And whether you can keep that group together or not is really the key. And I think when we got into late July, early August, and our trading deadline was different than in the past where we subtracted rather than added, the message was clear that we thought we were going to go younger. And that he was at that point in time able to get more out of them and have them stay the course, I think, is when he proved he proved to me, he, he reinforced his my confidence in him that he was the right guy for the job. Because he approached managing the same way he approached playing. You're talking about a guy from Evansville, Indiana, late round pick, numbers retired at Monument Park and Yankee Stadium. That just doesn't happen. Right. That's there's a lot of work that goes in there, a lot of relentlessness, and that's what he that's what he showed. That's what the team picked up. And the elephant, Ned, the elephant in the room is of course the ownership of the Dodgers. Can you? And I don't want to get into all of it now, but can you assure the fans that we won't have to read headlines like this all season long, and that there will be some stability at the top? Ask for calls here. I don't know how to how to answer that question. Honestly, I. Uh, I've got 
uh, no impact on it, no control over it. All I'm worried about is the baseball team and trying to figure out how to get us better than a year ago. All right, we got excitement for the upcoming we season. We, we are the home of the Los Angeles Dodgers here on AM570, Fox Sports Los Angeles. Angeles. And we want to hear from you out there. 877-99 on Fox. 877-99 on Fox. Charlie Steiner, Ned Galletti, and the Hall of Famer. Baseball's greatest ambassador, Tommy Lasorda. We are here today, and we want to hear from you Dodger fans out there. 877-99 on Fox. More of the can is right here on AM570, Fox Sports Lily.